Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the news of Shiloh TV. Today's headlines include Sudan's donor meeting to take place on the 25th of June. High-level delegation visits Ethiopia and meets with Abiy Ahmed. 325 new cases of coronavirus registered. Sudan's donor conference will be held on the 25th of June, disclosed the European Union's Foreign Affairs Chief, Giuseppe Borrell, on Saturday. We are going to halt soon on 25th of June the Sudan Partnership Conference together with Germany, the United Nations and Sudan, said Borrell, who was speaking in a press video conference. It will be an opportunity for the international community to recall and renew their support for the ongoing political transition in Sudan and include, I hope, concrete pledges, he added. Sudan and Ethiopia have a firm firmness of the relations between them and their ability to overcome the challenges facing them. The Prime Minister, Dr. Abdullah Hamadok, pointed out that the visit paid by the Cabinet Affairs Minister, Ambassador Omar Manis, to Ethiopia was a successful one and tackled ways of consolidating the relations and cooperation between the two countries in the economic field, as well as means for solving the challenges at the joint border and the issues related to the Nenesans Dam. Dr. Hamadok said that the delegation has met with the Ethiopian Prime Minister, Abiy Ahmed, expressing his confidence that the partnership between Sudan and Ethiopia will remain strong and united. The armed forces on Sunday expressed regret over a tragic accident that took place in Abu Hamama, area of Khartoum, in which two people were killed. The armed forces official spokesman, Brigadier Dr. Omar Mohammed Al Hassan, announced in a press statement that the individual of the armed forces who fired at these civilians were detained, adding that a suit was filed against them. The army pledged to take all the necessary legal measures to do justice, affirming that those who committed the legal errors will be punished. The Sovereign Council delegation, currently on a visit to Kassala on Sunday, inspected the security situation in the state following the recent tribal conflicts which broke out between the Nuba and Bani Amir tribes. The delegation, which is chaired by Mohammed al Fakir and includes Professor Hussein Sheikh Idris and Minister of Youth and Sports, Wala al Bushi, was briefed by the State Security Committee on the incidents that took place between Nuba and Bani Amir tribes and the reasons behind the conflict. The delegation was also briefed on the interventions and the efforts being exerted by the regular forces and other security units to contain the disputes. Al Fakir stressed in a statement following the meeting the importance and necessity of imposing the prestige of the state and the rule of law, noting that the events took place in a number of states, considered a message and an indication that must be reconsidered. An agreement on cessation of hostilities and restraint signed Sunday between the native administration and the forces of freedom and change in South Kordofan state in the presence of the chairman of the security committee, General Abdullah al-Bashir, and the acting wali, General Rashid Abdul Hamid Ismail. General Bashir told Sunnah that the consecutive meetings and the great efforts of the native administration, the FFC and the security committee, resulted in the signing of the agreement on cessation of hostilities and restraint to stop the bloodshed besides the principle for good intention. The area of Nadif in Buram locality, South Darfur state, has witnessed the signing a series of tribal reconciliation agreements between a number of tribes in the state of South and East Darfur under the patronage of the second commander of the Rapid Support Forces, General Abdul Rahim Hamdan Dagalu, to end an era of tribal disputes that lasted for more than three decades. The two-day Nadif Forum during Friday and Saturday witnessed the signing of a final reconciliation agreement between a number of tribes in South and East Darfur states, including the lasting reconciliation agreement between Rizegat and Falata tribes, besides a series of reconciliation deals between Salamat and Habbania, Salamat and Falata, Falata and Masalit, Rizegat and Hayertongo, and Salamat and Aisha. The document stressed the importance of collecting weapons, besides disposing from all the unruly persons and thieves, refrain from harboring criminals, renouncing regionalism and tribalism, and working for the unity. The Federal Ministry of Health on Saturday announced the registration of 325 new cases of infection with coronavirus, in addition to seven death cases. Thus, the total coronavirus infection cases in the country have increased to 2,289 cases, including 97 death cases. The recovery cases were 17, bringing the total recovery cases to 222 cases. 
The first undersecretary of the Ministry of Culture and Information, Rashid Saeed Yaqub, has praised the efforts being exerted by the Ministry of Health in the center and the states towards combating the corona pandemic, calling for a commitment of the citizens to the ministry's directives to staying at home, practice home quarantine, especially in the light of the rapid spread of this epidemic, and to away the directives of the Higher Health Emergency Committee in the next two days on the developments in the health situation in the country. Speaking at Sudan United Platform for Combating Coronavirus, Rashid said that the peacefulness and the rejection of all forms of violence is the greatest principle of the revolution. He drew the attention to the fact that the outer state regime and its tools are using violence to abort the revolution and its values. Now we remind you with the headlines. Sudan's donor meeting to take place on the 25th of June. High-level delegation visits Ethiopia and meets with Abe Ahmed. 325 new cases of coronavirus registered. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for tonight. Thank you for following and see you next time.